Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, we are going to make this um, chunky cow. This is the crocheted Briggs shell cow. Okay, so for your materials, you're going to need Okay, so for the yarn, we're going to be using Briggs and Little. Um, this is their 100% wool country roving. It's in the color mustard. Okay, so they provided this yarn for this project. Okay, so you'll need a nine millimeter crochet hook and a tape measure, a pair of scissors, and um, for the tapestry needle, I have this uh, one specifically made for wool. Um, you, you can just use any tap yarn needle that has a large eye. Okay, see there's a little clear loop right there. I find that it's easier to work with uh, roving yarn like this because it looks like this and sometimes it's hard to weave it uh, through the eye of the yarn needle. Okay, so this measures about 26 inches in circumference, and I used just the one um, pack of eight ounce yarn, and it is about nine and a half inches tall. Okay, so it's a good size for an adult. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a slip knot. chain 48. Um, so if you're making a different size, just chain any number that's in multiples of eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to crochet 40. Um, which is eight less than the other one that uh, um, I showed you. So it'll be a little bit smaller, but for the sake of time, I'm just making a smaller one for this tutorial. Okay, so now you wanna join your round and you wanna make sure that your stitches are not twisted. So see this flat part here, just make sure you run your finger through. Uh, keep your thumb there so that it's not twisted. See, it's twisting on me right there. Okay, and then join your round with a slip stitch. I like to join through the back humps. Okay, so this is the flat side, that's the hump. Um, that's because I'm going to work into the humps. It just gives it a nicer edge. Okay, work my slip stitch. And double check to make sure that it's not twisted. Okay, so for the first round, you can start with the chain four or a chainless double crochet stitch. Let me show you both ways. Chain one, two, three, and four, which counts as your double crochet stitch for the first three stitches, and then a chain one. And then you're going to work a double crochet into the same stitch right there. So what we're doing is working a V stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's your V stitch, your double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Now, if you wanted to work um, the chainless double crochet stitch, I'll link a tutorial for that as well. But let me just show you quickly, and this is the method I prefer. Okay, so you lift up to right about where your double crochet stitch would be. Hold on to the loop, okay, and go around and behind hold on to your loop and then insert your hook into that stitch same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay so that's a double crochet stitch without working your chain three and if you choose this route you'll need to chain one and then work your double crochet stitch in the same stitch to work your V stitch okay so there's your double crochet, double crochet with the single crochet in the middle. Okay, just remember if you do the chain four, 
you just work your double crochet next. Okay, so now we're going to skip three stitches and you'll need to be careful because the first one right after it's going to be a little tight. The first time I worked this, I kept getting the wrong stitch count because I kept missing a stitch. So I would skip four instead of three. So here's one, two, three. Again, we're working into the back humps. There's the fourth one. So you skip three. Okay, so in the fourth chain, you're going to work a puff shell stitch. Okay, so to work a puff shell stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that fourth stitch because we're skipping three, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, just tuck it up a little bit tall, okay, to your double crochet height. Okay, so you want to work that two more times, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, one more time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Okay, so you should have seven loops on your hook, including this one here. So you created six and you have seven here. You want to yarn over, pull through all seven loops, okay? So we're going to chain three, and then we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to work another puff with the chain three, okay? Into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull it up a little bit, yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, so you wanna do that three times until you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain three, one, two, and three. Okay, one more puff, stitch. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Make sure it's pulled up tall, yarn over in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. One more time, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, yarn over, pull through all seven loops and then chain one to secure. Okay, so that is your puff uh, shell stitch. Okay, so again, we're skipping three stitches and like I said, I kept missing this very next stitch Okay, so there's actually one hiding right there. So that's one, two, hold on, one, two, and three. So this is the fourth stitch that we're gonna work into. So now we're working a V stitch. And what a V stitch is, just like we worked in the beginning, it's one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, yarn over. Insert your hook into that fourth stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, and then work another double crochet stitch. Okay, and then work another double crochet stitch in the same stitch. And you have your V stitch, okay? So we're going to repeat that all the way around. We're going to skip three, work a puff shell, skip three, work a V, all the way until you get to the other side. Okay, so I pulled that up a little bit so you can see. So I'm skipping one, two, three, and working a puff shell stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, do that three times, so that's one, Yarn over, insert, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Three, yarn over, pull through all seven. Chain three, one, two, three. Work another puff into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. One, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Two, Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. That's three. So yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and chain three. One, two, whoops, and three. 
one last puff yarn over into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop that's two yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop that's three yarn over pull through all seven and then chain one so let me pull this up we're going to work a v-stitch in there i skip three into the fourth work a v-stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same stitch okay there's your v-stitch skip three and work another puff So we're working our puff shell stitch here, two and three. Chain three, another puff into the same stitch. One, two, three, and then one last puff. To the into the same stitch and chain one okay so keep repeating that skip three one two that tight one right there okay one two three and then a V stitch one double crochet chain one, one double crochet, skip three, into the fourth stitch, work a puff shell, okay, here's the first puff, one, two, three, and sometimes I do count out loud, <laughs> it helps chain three sometimes I'll um, end up with smaller puff stitches or bigger because I wasn't paying attention so one two and three chain three one last puff one two and three pull through seven and chain one to secure Okay, skip three and work your V. One, two, three. One double crochet, chain one. One double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to work my last puff shell stitch. I'm skipping three into the fourth stitch. I'm working my puff stitch, my puff shell stitch. Okay. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, and three. Oops, look, look, I'm crocheting my tail into there. No wonder it got a little thick. So the thing with this yarn is it'll break very easily. So be careful about that too. Okay, so one last puff. Oh, I need to chain three. So two, three. One last puff. One, two, and three. chain one okay so you should have three stitches left um, if you don't it's because like I said you accidentally skipped four instead of three um, so just uh, make sure you keep your stitch count and uh, look for that hidden stitch right after each of the stitches that you uh, make so since I started with a chainless double crochet I'm going to slip stitch right to the top of that chainless double crochet stitch okay so what's great about it is it looks just like a double crochet stitch and you can insert through the top two loops to work your slip stitch now if you did a chain four 
you will simply slip stitch to the third chain from the beginning chain four. So it'd be one, two, three, and you slip stitch to the third chain because the fourth chain is the chain one space that's in the middle of the V stitch, okay? Okay, so we're ready for round two. So you want to slip stitch into the middle of the V stitch right here. So it's going to be the chain one space. Work one slip stitch. And now we're going to pull this up to the height of the double crochet stitch and we're going to work a puff shell stitch okay so yarn over into the chain one space yarn over pull up a loop remember we do that three times okay so that's two and three okay yarn over pull through all seven chain three one two three work another puff stitch one, two, three, and we're working all of these stitches into the chain one space. So chain three, just like before, it's the same stitch and work your last puff stitch. Okay. Two and three. Okay. Chain one. Okay, so now we're going to work the V stitch right on top. See these shell puff shell stitch right here? We're going to work the V stitch right into the top of the middle puff stitch here, okay? Yarn over right into the stitch through both loops, okay? I'm going into the stitch as opposed to working into the chain one space here. I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, chain one, and then work another double crochet stitch into the same stitch for your V stitch, okay? So what we're doing now is working the puff shell stitch into the Vs, the Vs into the puff shell stitch, okay? See, so they're kind of off-centered. Okay, so the puff stitches are on top of the V, and the Vs go on top of the puff stitches. Okay, so you don't need to remember how many stitches to skip. Just know that you're working in the chain one spaces of the V and the middle stitch right here where the middle puff is, the stitch from the middle puff. Okay, so I just worked the V. I'm going to work into the chain one space, a puff uh, shell stitch. One, two, three. Pull through seven, chain three, one, two, three, another puff, one, two, and three. Chain three, so what? <laughs> What I'm doing, guys, is taking apart this project. I know. I had started something and my dog chewed up, chewed up my project pretty much. <laughs> so for the sake of time, I decided to make the um, crochet cow just because I'm a little tight on my deadline, which is fine because I get to play with the yarn um, with knitting and crocheting and I love it uh, in both uh, crochet and knitting. Okay so back to the shell stitch, um, the puff shell stitch we chain three so work another puff. So that's why you'll see me tugging on the yarn because I'm unraveling <laughs> the other project. Okay two and three. chain one. Okay, work your V stitch on top of this middle puff stitch right here. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Okay, puff shell stitch into the chain one space of the V. One, two, three. One, 
one, two, three. Don't forget your chain three, another puff. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three. One last puff to complete our puff shell stitch. Okay, chain one. So just repeat that all the way around. So here I'm working my V stitch. And if you wanna jump around in the video, I will leave um, the links in the description box to the different parts of the video. Okay, so I'm back, almost back to the beginning, and you can use a stitch marker to mark this, but it's so obvious to tell where it ends and begins. Okay, so one last V stitch on the stitch that's the middle of the puff stitch here, the middle of the shell stitch. Okay, so to join your round here in round two, you just wanna join right at the top of the first puff stitch here, okay? So work a slip stitch, okay? Now we're ready for round three. So for round three, you're going to slip stitch into this chain three space and do that loosely, okay? Very loosely. And then right into the stitch of the middle puff stitch, okay? Let's work a slip stitch. Okay, so again, this is going to be the start of round three, and it's going to be your V stitch. Remember, we're working V stitches on top of the uh, puff shell stitches, and puff shell stitches in the V stitches. So since we started with a chainless double crochet in round one, I'm going to chain four for round Three, just so you can see the difference okay the chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one so into the same stitch work your double crochet stitch okay so that's your V stitch now you want to work right into the next V stitch here your puff shell stitch okay two three so very similar to the last round, um, except that you're starting with a V stitch and not with a puff stitch. So go ahead and repeat um, the same thing you did last round, working puff stitches on top of the V stitches and then work your V stitches on the stitch that's in the middle of the puff stitch. Okay, so I'm working the last puff shell stitch here. 
I'm on my third puff and then we'll be ready to join. So one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through seven, chain one. Okay, so we joined, when we worked the chainless double crochet, we joined right at the top of that double crochet stitch. And uh, this is a chain four. So the first three chains are the double crochet stitches, okay? So there's one, two, three. You want to join in that third uh, chain stitch, okay? We want to make sure we leave the fourth chain as the chain one right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it because we're going to repeat rounds two and three until you're happy with your size. Now I just, for the adult size, I just uh, worked until I ran out of yarn. So just keep in mind that for round two, you want to start on the V-stitch, working your shell puff stitch into that chain one space, and you work your V-stitch into the stitch of the middle puff here, and then you repeat that around. Okay, so for round the, the round three repeat, you start with the V-stitch, okay? Okay, so this is eventually what it looks like. The tape measure was for you to be able to measure um, the sizing that you want when you're working with your chain stitches, the beginning chain. And um, let me just weave in this end right here. And again, you wanna be careful because these uh, the wool will break easily. Okay, so there I have it. And I'm just, when you weave in your ends, just weave it through um, the inside of your work. Okay, gently so that you don't break it apart. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, so continue again repeating rounds two and three until you get the size that you want. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one has eight rounds. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. See you next time.